My name's Allison Gordon. I'm Washoe County, Nevada's internal auditor, the internal auditor of one. I am a certified public accountant and also a certified fraud examiner. I have probably well over somewhere between 20 and 25 years of audit experience. I've been with Washoe County for six and a half years and I've been their sole auditor for the last four years. We decided to do continuous monitoring for several reasons. First of all, Nevada and Washoe County has been dealing with a severely depressed economy. We've had high mortgage foreclosures, which we're still having. We have a high unemployment rate. And this is still continuing to this day, even though the rest of the nation is, from what I hear, improving in their economy. Nevada is still struggling. And because of those issues, our general fund revenues decreased about $36 million. And we had to take, make various staff reductions, employee pay cuts, and that created some risk. Um, we went from two internal auditors to one, our budget staff were reduced. Again, decreased oversight, uh, risk increases because staffing is short, there's less oversight, and shortcuts can be taken. On our vendors, we look at things like address changes, uh, bank detail changes, street address changes, and we also look to see if there been if a vendor is only showing a post office box because that can be indicative of fraud. We look at several areas of trans in our transactional analysis. One is um, uh, requisition of approvals, uh, compliance with transaction thresholds, certain levels, dollar amounts of transactions require certain levels of approval. We also do payment in the invoice comparisons and approvals. One of my favorite benefits of continuous monitoring is that it focuses more on loss prevention as opposed to cost recovery. Uh, loss prevention is really a proactive method to avoid the occurrence of inappropriate transactions versus cost recovery, which is recouping funds that have been lost. KPMG did a, a survey several years ago that showed it takes about 342 days to even detect a fraud, and that's almost a year, at which point only about 90% of all losses are unrecoverable. So it makes perfect sense to focus on loss prevention. Another benefit is that problem identification is near to the time when the transaction took place. It's more real time. Another benefit is that monitor can look at multiple focus areas at any one time, sort of like a virtual super auditor. It can audit revenues, expenditures, payroll, grants, all at the same time. Another benefit is that continuous monitoring can be used to access data through multiple varieties of system platforms, such as ERP systems, like SAP, which is what we use at the county, legacy internally developed systems, third-party data, such as that from banks. It can also be used to, with data dumps from other systems that you may use internally. For example, at the county, we use Tiburon, which tracks our citation and emergency call data, as well as Manitron, which holds our property tax data. The quality of the analysis performed by continuous monitoring is much better than when using manual techniques. For example, continuous monitoring can be used to analyze 100% of the transactions versus auditor sample of fewer items. And the time to analyze transactions goes from days to minutes by using continuous monitoring. What I decided to do was select the process that would give me the biggest bang for my buck. And based on a risk analysis that I prepared, I determined that for Washoe County, it would be accounts payable. As part of implementing a continuous monitoring process, you need to make sure you have a thorough understanding of the process flow and the potential areas that you want to test. Once you believe you have this documented, it's then very important to go back and interview staff that actually perform the process to make sure that what you think they're doing is what they're doing. 
I was very surprised when I learned that our accounts payable team had begun scanning invoices and accepting that for payment as opposed to requiring original invoices. And because they've started using scanned invoices, I consider that a control weakness. And so I refocused what I plan on testing more on the payment and invoicing side of the accounts payable process because I do consider that a weakness. That many of the vendors that the county was paying do not have physical addresses. That is an actual a location that you could drive to, but they had PO boxes. And now, because Monitor identified that, and I, I looked for solutions, we are now requiring all of our vendors to provide a physical address as well as proof of their existence before we actually accept them as a vendor for payment. I would recommend this system by telling people that Caseworm Monitor is a system we use at the county to help reduce risk and also to deter and limit our employees from stealing money from the county. In addition, Caseworm Monitor has helped us identify significant areas where we can improve our processes. I would definitely recommend Caseware Monitor to both business and government entities.